Hello everyone, it's Monet Madam. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how I revamp my two or three day hair. I really love the results that I get with the products that I use, the order that I use, you know the routine that I've developed for my hair. If you have hair similar to mine and you would love to see how I achieve these curls, this curl pattern, <laughs> keep watching. <laughs> I decided I wanted to share it with you all. So, without further ado, here is the tutorial. Two or three days in, my hair usually gets pretty dry and crusty. The product buildup isn't really that bad, but it does get dry and frizzy. So what I like to do is just, you know, revamp it. Usually every day, because when I sleep on it, my pillow gets pretty dry. I don't have a, a satin or a silk pillowcase right now. And I'm gonna take the My Heavenly Halo Serum Oil Mist by Main Choice. And just like spray it once on my hand, get my hands a little oiled up so they're not so dry. And then just kind of run that over my hair. This is like day three hair, so it's kind of dry. So now I'm gonna take this Coconut Curls Styling Milk by Organics. Take about two pumps. And then I go over my hair, I don't, I don't rake it. I just pull it all in handfuls, if you will. I try not to rake my hair, sometimes I do. It's time for a hair trim, actually. At some point, I'm gonna start trimming my own hair, but right now, it's not at a length where I'm comfortable <laughs> creating a shape, so. I'm definitely a DIY kind of girl. If I can figure out how to do it myself, I will. I don't wanna give myself one of those haircuts that your mom gives you when she doesn't have time to take you to the, to the hair salon or doesn't have the money and you want your hair cut to look nice for picture day and your mom is in the kitchen or your dad is in the kitchen cutting your hair with Utility scissors. Not fun. Actually, you know what? I said I wasn't gonna rake my hair, but it's kind of tangled, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the wide tooth comb because this maintains the curls better than my fingers raking through does. And I can go over with my hand as I'm combing my hair. Ew. I'm shedding. <laughs> One of my problems with frizz is that I can't keep my fingers out of my head. I'll be trying not to rig my hair, y'all, I promise. I'm gonna go back to the main choice, get a full two. It sprays out kinda, my hands are slippery. It sprays out kinda weird. Well, it sprays out really spritzy, if you will. Spritz it into your hand twice, like so. I'm really weak guys, my hands are small and I can't spritz this without two hands. So, we're just gonna spray it on my arm. Yeah, it's gonna take that and not waste it, I'm gonna put that on my hair. So I took about two and a half spritz, the oil. So the last product I'm going to apply is my Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. And I'm just gonna use about a quarter amount. I don't have very thick hair and I'm probably, I'm not even really gonna apply it very heavily on my hair. I, I'm gonna try to keep it more towards the ends. In the back and the middle, um, I'm gonna try to, you know, be a little bit more, I guess, aggressive. <laughs> the next thing you wanna do is find that location where your hair naturally parts. I try to do it on both sides so that I can create um, a little bit more volume. And I use this brush and I just kind of brush it. Ooh, I didn't mean to do it the whole way through. I just kind of brush it up towards the top. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I kind of try to let it dry naturally without um, manipulating it too much. I'm just gonna organize this hair a little bit more back here. This area in the back of my head, I can't see it and I can only feel it and it just always feels so frizzy sometimes. So now that I've got all the gel and I've 
brushed it in the directions I want it to go. I'm going to take my trusty toothbrush, wet it with some agua. Gel it up on both sides, just so hopefully I can try to create that volume. My toothbrush dirt, y'all. My toothbrush is dirty. I know y'all was looking like, ooh. All right. So now I'm just going to leave my hair alone. I'm gonna try to keep my fingers out of it. I'm going to come back when it's dry, and um, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here I am with the finished curls. As you can see, I look a little poodle-ish, little wet dog-ish. I don't know if you can see what I see, but they just look really crisp and jellified. But what I like to do is just flat-handed. Um, sometimes I'll put a little bit of oil, so I'll go back to the oil mist. Just put a little bit on there, and my hands aren't slippery now, so I can actually show you. And just put a little bit of Indian, run my hands across my hair like so in the direction or directions that I want the curls to fall. None of my hair is going in between my fingers. Everything is open palm, just literally kind of like wiping my hair. Just, that's literally how I'm doing it. It's hard for me to achieve the shape that I want because of how long some parts of my hair are. Like, everything up here is still a lot longer. See, like, that bothers me. But, I am satisfied with how the curls have come out. So, I won't complain too much. For a little bit of volume, I'll just take my wide tooth comb or my pick, which I don't have on handy right now, and then I'll just, you know, Pick it up from the root. Don't comb it, just lift it up from the root. About an inch, a centimeter. <laughs> I can't sing, and I don't know what I was singing, but I like singing. I just enjoy doing it. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, tweet, Instagram. Send it, send it to me. I'll be happy. If you send it to me, I'll be like, oh my God, somebody sent me my own video. They wanted me to know that they watched. <laughs>